Hello again everybody and welcome back to our Facebook page Jonathan and Kelly Parish Ministries. We picked up several new followers this past week and we're excited about that and we hope to keep you informed with good news about things that God is doing in our ministry. For just a few moments I would like to speak to you concerning the subject of time. Time is one thing that captivates us all. It's one thing that we can never escape until that day we finally give up the ghost and go to heaven, I sure hope and presume. However, right now, we're bound by time. And time is something that is going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling while sometimes it feels like it's dragging us along. There is a difference, though, in the way we should approach time when we pray. When we pray, often we go to God wanting relief, wanting the headache to give up a little bit, wanting the problem to just back off a little bit, wanting things to just give us some relief so we can take a deep breath and go right back into the very thing that we came out of. But that's not the will of God for you. The will of God for you is that not your moments change, but that your seasons change. God is the only one who can change the season. There are things the world can give you relief for a moment, but only God can change your season. It says in the book of 2 Corinthians that to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. And you know the rest of the scripture, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up, and so on. Today I want you to realize that what God wants to do for you is give you a new season, a new approach, to give you a new perspective on where you are. God doesn't want you to be some kind of spiritual survivor that's just trying to make it from this day to the next. What God wants to do for you is to change everything about you so that every day is a day of victory. Every day is a day of life and peace and prosperity. And that only comes when we realize that God is the only one who can change the season. There's another scripture I want to bring you in 2 Corinthians 4 and 17, it says, For our light affliction is for but a moment. You see, the will of God is that the problem only lasts a moment, but the solution lasts for a season. The solution lasts for an extended period of time. And so today I want to pray, and I want you to believe when you pray, that God will not just give you relief, but that He will change your season. I know some of you are going through some big things, some big problems, some big situations. But that very scripture I just read you says, it, says this, Our light affliction is for just a moment, but it works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. The glory that God has for you will be eternal, but the problem is only for a moment. And today, if you will just put your faith and your trust in God when you pray, I have no doubt that God will change your season and this moment that you're in. It's not going to last forever. So I want to encourage you today to trust in God. He will bring you through. You're not going to stay where you are. God is bringing you out. Be blessed until next time, and I look forward to seeing you again right here on this Facebook page. Have a glorious and blessed week, and share this message if you'd like. I want it to be a blessing to as many as possible. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.